maintaining balance at high speeds, proper operation behavior in various conditions, high engine power, as well as proper body design and construction are among the specialties of the speedboat. Sarage enjoys a stabled 107mm 11-barrel rocket launcher, a searching marine radar with a range of about 30 km, and a 12.7mm Dushka. The maximum speed of the boat is over 70 knots, yet the defense industry organization is trying to increase the velocity up to 170 km per hour. Another U.S. concern with the production of the Sarage speedboat deals with Iran's ability to design and build reverse engineering of prototypes for the blades and thrusting surfaces, which is at the cutting edge of the world's technology. Recently, Iran launched 110 new Navy speedboats in Bandar Abbas at the Strait of Hormuz on Saturday, capable of launching ship-to-ship -ship missiles, the IRGC announced. Hossein Salami, the commander of the Revolutionary Guard IRGC, chaired ceremonies saying that the launch was the seventh time this year new vessels and weapons systems were added to the Navy. He added that in order to live free and independent, Iran needs to be powerful. The IRGC commander claimed that if Iran was not powerful, the Muslim countries in the region would have been dominated and destroyed by enemies. He added that Iran is determined to increase its power on daily basis. Iran's Revolutionary Guard Navy has hundreds of speedboats produced based on limited naval production capabilities that are meant to attack and swarm larger enemy vessels. The speedboats have harassed U.S. Navy warship on numerous occasions. Sarij-1 is a military speedboat that was used by Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps, and it's also the fastest float in the world. It is based on the British-made Bradstone Challenger, a Blade Runner 51, which holds the record for the fastest circumnavigation of Britain. Militarized speedboats have been the core of the Iranian military doctrine since their commanders believed that speedboats can counter the USA's massive warships. Defense Minister Ahmed Bahidi has stated that Sarij-1, with a fiberglass bodywork, can shoot rockets, and it is equipped with an electronic navigation system. Sarij-1 also possesses radar evading capabilities.6 The Sarij-1 is equipped with a 107mm MRLS and bow-mounted DSHK 12.7mm HMG. An advantage of the Sarage 1 is that, just like the Blade Runner 51, it is very stable at high speeds in rough seas, thereby creating a stable platform to fire weapons. Consequently, Ahmed Bahidi described the Sarage 1 as, a vessel which is a fast and offensive rocket launcher designed for regions with tropical weather. Technical analysts, policy advisors, strategic planners and even the media rallied around the key buzzwords of anti-access, hybrid warfare and swarm tactics, hyping up the situation. Despite using such niche terminology and increased discussion in the public domain, it is necessary to look beyond the IRGCN's provocative rhetoric to evaluate such developments in their naval arsenal. Manufactured by Ice Marine. The Blade Runner, sold through a structure of international transactions, ended up in Bandar Abbas, Iran's largest port, which houses the IRGCN's headquarters. There, the vessel was dissected, rebuilt and armed with sophisticated weapons systems. Like previous platforms, design analysis from reverse engineering procedures was used to build and commission a fleet of clones capable of executing IRGCN missions in Iran's littoral areas in the Strait of Hormuz. 
Questions were raised about Iran's ability to copy the main performance components of the Blade Runner, specifically the twin 1000 HP Caterpillar C18 inboard engines and Arneson ASD-12 surface drives, but technical experts suggest that Iran may well have the capabilities to replicate these components, and IRGCN leadership claims they've already succeeded. With these systems, speed alone would offer the vessels a competitive offensive and defensive performance edge, allowing hit-and-run activities to be executed with top-notch maneuverability. Comparing these activities to Iranian operations during parts of the Iran-Iraq War, dubbed the Tanker War, it is evident that the IRGCN has taken modernization seriously. Their goal is to replace their underperforming Chinese and North Korean vessels with indigenously produced facts to participate in swarm attacks, a tactic in which waves of small vessels attack a larger slow capital target overwhelming it with small arms RPG missile fire or even ramming it in suicide kamikaze style attacks. Judging by aesthetics alone, the new fleet emits an air of professionalism as depicted in the box out comparison. These vessels can be outfitted in a variety of configurations, ranging from small arms to cruise missiles. Image analysis reveals that the majority are armed with at least one mounted DSHKM 1938 heavy machine gun, as well as 107mm or other similar rocket launchers. These are radar-guided anti-ship cruise missiles capable of destroying 1,500-ton targets and damaging even larger ones. Iran's missile capabilities continue to grow. In reference to arming facts, Deputy Defense Minister and head of Iran's aerospace organization, General Mehdi Farah, stated that the country's missiles have the capability of being launched from vessels with speeds of over 30 knots, and these missiles include Zafir, Nasser, Nur, and Kader. These are radar-guided anti-ship cruise missiles capable of destroying 1,500-ton targets and damaging even larger ones. On top of this, the Iranians have imported Russian Shkbal torpedoes and created indigenous clones, which they claim are outfitted on some of their facts. And now, the Islamic Revolution Guard's Corps Navy has achieved an advanced type of hull for its speedboats, a top commander said. He noted that the high-tech product enables the IRGC speed vessels to move faster. According to the commander, the IRGC naval forces have also attained advanced power transmission systems exclusively developed for the speedboats. The commander also explained that the IRGC speedy vessels now in service are equipped with the state-of-the-art military equipment and missiles. Today, our vessels have been armed with different missile launchers, he added.